Hey there guys, what's up, it's your boy Pixel, back with another YouTube video for you guys on your channel. Today's video is going to be us doing an in-depth Mangala SBC review. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Right then guys, welcome back to the video. As you guys know, first and foremost, we check out the card and then the segments. Five star week. 3 star skill moves, medium high, at centre back is very decent I guess you can say, it's, it's very good to have. He's also 6 foot 2 so he's quite a tall centre back. And funny thing is he's actually got the same birthday as my grand as my granddad. So a shout out goes to him. Anyhow obviously he's French so he's linkable to, he gets a hard link for the Varane. So you guys got that Champions League Varane, the 90 rated, perfect link, hard link to him there. Very sick because they play the same league and they are from the same nation. Then he also links... To the likes of Theo Hernandez and I'm trying to think Sambia and a couple like left backs. Oh, you got the you got the Philar Mendy foot birthday as well, which he links perfectly to as well. So that's also sick, but mostly probably be using him with Varane, I'm guessing. But anyhow, let's not dwell on that. Let's get into the in-game. So you got pace, 75 acceleration. 84 sprint speed decent stats i mean for the meta of the game at the moment you got the attackers with 90 plus uh, uh pace at the moment so having 80 plus on the center back is a good start where you can hit up a shadow or even a hunter card and just literally boost them just like that and uh yeah so that's basically it for the pace stats let's go into the passing stats because they are more important vision 70 crossing 77 free kick accuracy to 71 short pass in 85 long pass in 82 and curve 69 those short pass and long pass stats are key for get, trying to get the ball out from the back. I'm telling you guys now, I always struggle with this. Try to play the ball out when you're literally under the cosh by your opponent. It's one of the most techiest things to do in this game, in my opinion. Let me know if you guys can relate to that in the comment section down below. But apart from that, those are good stats. I like the fact that his literally his short passing outweighs his long passing. Only by three. So the long pass and short passing should feel very similar in game. Obviously, if you guys are going to complete this SBC, please let me know what you guys think of him in the comment section down below, as always. Agility is 87, balance 86, reactions 91, ball control 75, dribbling 70, and composure is 90 as we get into the dribbling stats. High agility, high balance on centre backs. Jeez! You love to see it. Like, that is a doozy. 87, 86, agility, balance. I love to see that on the card, especially with it being a centre back card. It is phenomenal. So that is incredible. We go into defending now. 83 interceptions, 88 heading accuracy, defensive awareness 86, stand tackle 88, slider tackle 88. Very good stats all round on the defending stats. Very good. I'm actually in, impressed with the uh, with the sliding tackle and stand tackle. I mean, it's less than what Aturito Vidal had, but it's still good. Saying that Aturito Vidal could probably play him at centre back. I'm joking. Let's get into the physical. Physicality is overall is 90. So under that we have 87 jumping, 81 stamina, 93 strength, 93 aggression. Strength and aggression are quite high. That's perfect for a centre back. I love to see that. Stamina could have done with a with like plus 85. So if that was 85, 86, 87, maybe even up in the 90s, that would have been good for me. Obviously, like getting out played centre backs, like they need lose a bit of stamina. But that's probably the way I play, not the, play, the way you play. But Jumping stats also could have been a bit higher as I mean he's six foot two so he, he shouldn't lose too many aerial duels but it could still happen. Player traits, dives into tackles, BAI and power header. So those aren't bad. As a player I'd say he's top. Let's get into the segments and have a look what he requires. Right then guys, he requires a Porto player because he used to play there. A team of the week, 83, 75 chem. So this should come in at around just shy of 100k. This just one sole segment because of the informs. Informs are flying at the moment. So if you guys have invested in them, GG's to you. Like you guys must have made bank. Then obviously the chem 75. It's okay. It's doable. Then you guys have got top form, which requires yet another team of the week, 85 rating and 70 chemistry. Chemistry lowered by five, rating up by two. Plus another inform. So this this one will be more expensive. I'm saying this is about 150 to 200k just this segment alone. Purely, purely because of the informs. Again, I'm telling you, informs are insane at the moment. So with that being said, all in all, around a 300k card, 250 to 300k card, I'd say it's top. I mean, the, the segments are quite... What are the packs you get back? Primex Players Pack and Premium Electrum. Yeah, I mean, the packs have never been decent in return, let's be honest. But... Yeah, all in all, I'd say a top card for the for the coins you're going to have to invest into him if you guys do complete him. 
And uh, yeah, if you guys have completed, like I said, let me know in the comments down below if you have. But with that said, this has been the end of the video. If you guys have liked this video, please make sure you like button, subscribe if you're already, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.